Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick. It is Wednesday, June 15th, and it's time for our daily devotion. We are in John 15, uh, appropriate day for it to be, uh, for us to be in this part of John. And we're starting at verse 12, if you'd like to turn there now and join me. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own, because, but because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the, wor the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have been guilty of sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. But the word that is written in the law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. But when the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will also bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. So notice the connection here between the Father and the Son and also between Jesus and uh, those who believe in him. So the, there's, there's a very strong connection. Jesus has been sent by the Father and now Jesus is sending out the disciples to go and to make more disciples. And, you know, you, you have this nice connection here between Jesus and the Father and between Jesus and his, uh, and his disciples. And how Jesus is treated is how we should expect to be treated, that Jesus was rejected by the world, and so we should expect this. This should, you know, this should not be a surprise to us um, that, uh, that we are off-putting to the world, that we are, you know, as Paul calls himself, and, and in reference to us, the off-scouring of all things, you know, because we don't fit in with this world because of our, our beliefs and our beliefs about God. And I made references to this in the sermon this past Sunday, how Jesus was rejected because he said he was God, but how also he was rejected because he forgives sin. And, you know, I, I'm starting to hear a little bit more today about how Jesus forgiving sin implies that there's something wrong with you. And, well, of course there is, as we would say in the Christian church, but People are now internalizing that a lot more and are feeling like they are being judged and that Christianity, um, Protestant evangelicalism, is a form of judgment and, um, and, and using religion as something of a weapon. So, uh, you know, modern humanity is twisting things and is, is trying to reinterpret Jesus and to make him into something that they can all agree to and that they can all accept and that doesn't ask them to repent and that, that does not have forgiveness to give, but is more of a, a psychological motivator or a unifier uh, of people of different faiths uh, without regard to their belief. You know, the world's always been comfortable with a Jesus that really didn't stand for anything or didn't stand for much. But in the church, we believe in a Jesus, we confess in a Jesus who preaches both law and gospel and who uh, unites people under the common belief of, of him as the savior of humanity and the judge of humanity, uh, that Jesus does um, possess both roles and, and he, does, uh, he does both roles at times. So, 
this is what we come to understand uh, with Jesus and uh, how we also come to understand our, our standing in this world as his followers. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you, give you his peace. Amen. All right, um, announcements for today. Tomorrow is going to be the last day of Vacation Bible School, and there's set to be a little bit party afterwards with a bounce house and uh, some other fun things. So if you have a child or grandchild enrolled in VBS, you should get some information sent home today with more, um, more details. Uh, youth night is happening tonight at 6 p.m. Choir practice happening after that at 7.30. Uh, tomorrow, Mahjong is kicking off at 1 p.m. here at Holy Shepherd. Um, if you would like to uh, participate, feel free to come up. This will be just after Vacation Bible School. So, uh, you know, we'll be uh, great to be excited to see this uh, ministry opportunity to get going. And then Women's Coffee Hour is going to be, uh, looks like this Saturday June the 18th with Bible study next Tuesday for women um, on the 21st. And, um, oh, we, we do have an important announcement to make. So with all the construction happening this year, with the costs of everything, the flooring, the painting, all this, um, we have decided to postpone the 25th anniversary again um, just because we don't feel like there's going to be adequate planning. We had originally talked about doing this in September but it's just going to be too much to try and fit into a short amount of time. And, you know, already in September, we're going to be having this first garage sale, the preschool fall festival, not far, far behind that. So we're going to um, maybe look at doing this early 2023. We're going to reassess some things and um, just we'll keep you posted. So thank you for your patience with all this. A um, lot happening in our ministry right now. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, this coming fall and also for the rest of the summer with still so much to happen. So please continue to be in prayer for us. And don't forget about our, our, about our joy fund, which is now up to about 15% of our desired goal. We're nearing 15,000. We have a goal of 100,000. So if the Lord has blessed you, um, our expenses with this have increased because um, costs are going up everywhere. So we're having to lock things in and we did have higher um, than expected plumbing um, charges with the recent renovations. So um, we'd love to have your support. That's it. The Lord bless this the rest of your Wednesday. And um, I'll be back tomorrow for Daily Devotions.